السلام عليكم ونساء جن بسم الله الحمد لله وكفى والصلاة والسلام على عباده الذين استطفى خصوصا على أفضلهم وخاتم النبيين محمد الأمين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ومن استنى بسنته إلى يوم الدين اللهم اجعلنا منهم ومن الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا الحق وتواصوا الصبر آمين يا رب العالمين قال الله عز وجل في كتابه الكريم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ولنبلونكم بشيء من الخوف والجوع ونقص من الأموال والأنفس والثمرات وبشر الصابرين وعن سلمان رضي الله تعالى عنه قال خطبنا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في آخر يوم من شعبان فقال يا أيها الناس قد أظلكم شهر عظيم مبارك شهر فيه ليلة خير من ألف شهر شهر جعل الله صيامه فريضة وقيام ليله تطوعا من تقرب فيه بخصلة كان كمن أدى فريضة فيما سواه ومن أدى فريضة فيه كان كمن أدى سبعين فريضة فيما سواه وهو شهر, صب شهر الصبر والصبر ثوابه الجنة وشهر المواسات وشهر يريد في, رز في رز رزق المؤمن فيه من فطر فيه صائما كان مغفرة لذنوبه وعتق رقبته من النار وكان له مثل أجره من غير أن ينقص من أجره شيء قالوا يا رسول الله ليس كلنا يجد ما يفطر الصائم فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يعطي الله هذا الثواب من فطر صائما على تمر تم تمرة أو شربة ماء أو مقدة لبن وهو شهر أوله رحمة وأوسطه مغفرة وآخره عتق من النار من خفف عن مملوكه فيه غفر الله له واعتقه من النار واستكثروا فيه من أربع الخصال خصلتين ترضون, ترضون بهما ربكم وخصلتين لا غناء بكم عنهما فأما الخصلتان اللتان ترضون بهما ربكم فشهادة أن لا إله إلا الله وستستغفرونه وأما الخصلتان اللتان لا غناء بكم عنهما فاسألون الله الجنة وتعوذون به من النار من سقى صائما سقاه, سقاه الله من حوضي شربة لا يضمأ حتى يدخل الجنة أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وأحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي uh, Just to translate the hadith first Salman رضي الله عنه reported that on the last day of Sha'ban Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم came to us and he addressed us and he said O oh people there comes over you now a great month a blessed month a month in which there is a night that is greater in virtue than a thousand months it is a month in which Allah has made fasting fard on you by day and he has made standing at night in prayer uh, sunnah. Whoever intends to draw near to Allah by performing any deed, for such a person he will get, be given the reward like he performed a fard. And who, whoever performs a fard, he shall be blessed with the reward, the reward of performing 70 faraid. This is the month of patience and the, patient, the reward of patience is Jannah. It is a month to sympathize with those around you. It is the month where a believer's risk is increased. Whoever, fa whoever feeds another who is fasting so that they may break the fast at iftar time, for the feeder, the one who feeds, there shall be forgiveness of sins and freedom from Jannah, or freedom from the fire of Jahannam. And for the one who feeds, he will be given the same reward as the one who fasted. And the person who's fa who fasted, their reward will not be decreased at all. And we ask the Prophet ﷺ, Ya Rasulullah, not all of us possess the means that we can give a fasting person a proper meal. So Rasulullah ﷺ replied, Allah grants the same reward to someone who gives a fasting person a date or a drink of water or a sip of milk. And he continued, this is the month, the first of which is, brings Allah's mercy, the middle of which brings his forgiveness, and the last of which brings freedom from the fire of Jahannam. And whoever, as a slave owner, lessens the burden of his servants, in this month Allah will forgive him and free him from the fire of Jahannam. And in this month, four things you should increase in this month, two of which please, your, please Allah and two of which are those which you cannot, you cannot do without. The first two things which will please your Lord, that you should increase in quantity, are saying the kalima la ilaha illallah and asking for forgiveness. And the two things that which you cannot do without are asking him for his jannah and asking him to save you from hellfire. And whoever gives a person who fasted, who fasted, whoever gives them water to drink, Allah shall grant that giver a drink from my fountain in Jannah, in the Kawthar. And that drink is such that a person will never feel thirsty again until they enter Jannah. May Allah make us of those who earn this reward. There is a lot to talk about in this hadith. It's a very comprehensive hadith, but I want to focus on one topic. And that is Sabr. Now, uh, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned in the middle of this hadith, this is a month of Sabr. And whoever is... Whoever gains sabr, the reward is Jannah. And if you look in the Quran, if you, there are many different mentions of lots of different a'mal, right? And lots of different rewards of those a'mal. 
And for every single amal that you do, there is a limited reward. There is either, we know the multiplication, it's either 10, 70, 700. There's a limit. Allah creates a scale for you and me. But there is one amal in the entirety of Quran where there is no scale. إِنَّمَا يُوَفَّ الصَّابِرُونَ أَجْرَهُمْ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ It is the only good deed that you do that Allah will give without counting. And subhanAllah, when the master of the skies and the earth, when the owner of all the universes doesn't count and he just gives and gives and gives, you can imagine how much reward we get. So may Allah give us the ability to be those who have sabr. The ability to be those who are patient in difficult times. And the ayah is right at the beginning. وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْصٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنفُسِ وَالثَّمَرَاتِ وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ that no doubt, for sure, Allah says, we will test you with all kinds of things. We will test you with different kinds of fear. We will test you with different kinds of hunger. The hunger is obviously the most obvious during the month of Ramadan. But we will also test you with loss of wealth. We will test you with loss of people. We will test you with loss of fruits, loss of investments. We will test you with all these things. Glad tidings to who? As-sabirin, those who are patient. Those who have patience, those who hang on to the, to the elsewhere Allah says, وَعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ Those who hang on to the rope of Allah, hang on to the rope of Allah, no matter what difficulties come your way, hang on tight and don't let go. Be patient and don't let go. And of course, there are different types of patience. There is patience when you have something good to make, to, there is a patience that you make shukr for it and you, and you keep with that and you don't ask for more. There is patience when a difficulty comes on you, you're patient and you don't turn away from Allah, you don't become despondent, you don't lose hope in Allah, and you stay, with, you stay doing your good deeds and you pray that inshallah Allah will take this, away from, this difficulty away from you. And then there is the, the patience of staying away from bad sins. No matter how much you're called, your nafs and your desires want you to, uh, to commit a sin or to commit something that Allah doesn't want you to do, you stay away from it and you have sabr. And this is the essence of Ramadan where no matter how much we want to do something, we want to eat, we want to drink, we want to fulfill our desires, no matter how much we want to do that, we have sabr. We, it's, we're, we're at the point where we can see Allah, we can see Allah in front of us and we say, no, Allah said I can't do this, I'm not going to do it, I'm going to have sabr. And, you know, in Surah Al-Baqarah we see different examples of, pe of, pro of people who were tested with sabr. For example, we see the story of Ibrahim alayhi salam. Allah tested and tested and tested Ibrahim. And the word ibtila is used, which means great tests, serious tests, hard tests, not things that are easy. And then what does Allah say? فَأَتَمَّهُنَّ He completed all of the tests. He passed with flying colors. Never, not once did Ibrahim complain every time he had sabr. And then immediately before that, that Allah creates a comparison, we see the story of Bani Israel, long passage about Bani Israel, all the different things Allah gave them, all the different things He tested them with. I'll just share one example, inshallah, and I'll close. When they left, when they, got, when they escaped from Fir'aun, and they are in the desert, in the middle of nowhere, they were just given a miraculous uh, saving, saving by Allah when He opened up the, the rivers and they all ran through. Fir'aun is drowned, they're completely free, and now they're in the desert in the middle of nowhere, no food, no sustenance, nothing. And what, they should have died in that desert. And what does Allah do? He puts a cloud over their head, so He gives them shade, and He sends down manna and salwa for them from the heavens. Now you would think this would be enough for them. They would be so grateful. They would be patient. No matter what complaints they had, they would be like, you know what? We have a cloud over our heads in the middle of the desert. We're getting food sent down, express service from Jannah. Well, that's good. Alhamdulillah, we're satisfied. No, that wasn't their attitude. What did they say? They're, they said, we need some chaat masala. We need some biryani. We need some alu gosh to hona chahiye. Min baqaliha wa qistaiha wa fumiha wa adasiha wa basaliha. They asked for more. They had no sabr. Absolutely no sabr, no sense of shukr, no sense of gratitude, no sense of patience. They're being given so much and that they still want more. Why am I sharing this? It's not like we have this problem, right? In our iftars, we don't complain, where are the pakode? You know, where's my fruit chart? Where's my chana chart? Oh, why don't we have biryani? We don't do that. I don't know why I mentioned that. No, we also have this problem. When 
So Allah is, includes these stories of the past, but the, the Prophet ﷺ said, the history of Bani Israel and the history of my ummah, ka na'la bin na'la. they're like one footstep after the other. Allah gives us these stories to, to make us reflect, what are we doing? Are we following the steps of Bani Israel or are we following the steps of our father Ibrahim ﷺ? We are the Milla of Ibrahim ﷺ, Millat Abikum Ibrahim. You are the... You are the the carriers of the legacy of your father Ibrahim alayhi salam and he was one who had sabr and this Ramadan comes and teaches us how to have sabr what it means to be patient what it means to be patient during difficulty what it means to be patient with the good that you have what it means to be patient and staying away from that which, is, which Allah has made haram on you which Allah has recommended that you stay away from so may Allah give us the ability to during this Ramadan realize the meaning of patience may He give us the ability to become closer to Him may Allah make this Ramadan one of successful growth personal growth means of closeness to Allah and His word, His Quran and may Allah make this a month in which we earn His pleasure and earn his jannah and earn his freedom from his from his jahannam amin ya rabbal alamin barakallahu li wa lakum fil qur'an al azim wa nafa'ni wa iyyakum bil ayati wa dhikr al hakim aqulu qawli hadha fastaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisa'il muslimin fastaghfiruhu innahu huwal ghafurur rahim assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh